<laughs> Hi, Bobby. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Yeah, good. Good morning, and um, thanks for <laughs> thanks for being so patient. It does happen sometimes. This technology technology glitches, but that's okay. We're here now, so thank you for the opportunity. Um, thanks for joining on Saturday morning. Um, it's actually a good time to kind of. I've got my coffee with me. <laughs> We're gonna have a have a a little cruisy session. Um, welcome to anyone who uh, hasn't watched any of these before. This is the local connect with um, uh, local small businesses, getting to know your local small businesses. Um, we're starting with the Northern Beaches series, and we have Bobby from the Pottery Cafe in Collaroy. Very exciting concept in, in Collaroy there. Do you want to start off with telling me a little bit about yourself and, and the cafe? Yeah, sure. So uh, the cafe's been going for two years now. So we started in 2018. And um, really a, a sort of passion project it started with, um, a dream come true. We used to do this quite a lot in the UK. So take the children, um, because it rains all the time, you need to find things to do. Yeah. <laughs> children to paint ceramics and you know after a little while family got used to receiving ceramics for Christmas and birthdays with the children's handprints on or drawings on and when we came to Australia in 2011 we realized that actually that was something that was quite rare here we couldn't find anything like that so thought at that yeah. point we'll open it one day it'd be great to bring something like that to the beaches um, and it just so happened in, in 2018 um, I had the opportunity to come out the corporate world and decided that whilst uh, traveling back and forth to the UK because my father was quite sick this was a great opportunity for me to start something um, yeah. that I wanted to do as I took a break from the corporate life so it started in 2018 in Collaroy um, and then October last year we moved further down towards Longreef and um, you know the concept itself is something that's really new to the beaches um, you know people can come and paint pottery which has taken off but we also are a cafe so we do all the, all the cafe food with some exceptions around um, home cooking particularly around traditional Indian cooking so we do a lot of uh, cooking um, a lot of our menu is inspired from traditional recipes our chai is um, my grandma's recipe um, so oh, and um, and we like to have a point of difference so you know we like to make our cappuccinos with real chocolate flakes our mocha is with real chocolate um, yeah. So we like to differentiate ourselves in different ways. Yeah, and they're delicious. <laughs> and they're many times living in Derby. And I was always like, oh, I used to see the, the paint and uh, the, the, the wine um, yeah, sessions as well, <laughs> yeah. which are popular. Um, all right, so, so tell me about the concept. So people, so before COVID, um, so people come in, do they have to book or do they kind of just walk in there and they can do their own ceramics? How did it work? So pre-COVID, you could pretty much, we had much bigger venues, so you could pretty much just walk in, grab a table, paint or not paint, um, and, and just enjoy and relax at the cafe. But post-COVID, um, predominantly, and because we're a smaller location and because we're extremely busy, uh, we do mm -hmm. ask people to book. So you can chance it by just um, popping your head in and you can get a slot, but otherwise people do book. Um, and they come here, they choose the ceramic, they paint it, um, they leave it here for 7 to 14 days, we glaze it and fire it, and then it's all dishwasher and food safe. So it's nice because it's not like plaster fun house, you can actually use it um, to drink your coffee and eat your food off. Um, and whilst you're here, you can enjoy some food, or for children particularly, we do the crazy milkshakes, or all the freak shakes with all the toppings. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's super popular as well. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I love the milkshakes. <laughs> oh, delicious. Um, and what is, what's behind you there? Are those some of the ceramics that you've got? So that's actually our shelves stocked up because um, during COVID now we've actually, as everybody, have gone takeaway. So you can actually order our products now online. So it's everything's stocked up. So as the orders come, we can, we can pack those really quickly and have them ready to be um, picked up con with contactless picking. Or um, they're also displayed in the window so people can choose them from the window. Yeah, cool. So, so if people are, you know, looking for some activities to do with their kids, they could come and pick up some some ceramics and do that at home, like paint it at home. Yeah, absolutely. So during COVID, particularly when it's not COVID, we prefer not to do it that well, though we have because once yeah. there's a risk that it can be contaminated with grease or you know other things, um, and so we can't yeah. guarantee that it will fire 100 percent perfectly. But touch wood, we've we've been okay so far. Um, okay. I've got, yeah, the ceramics, but all, we're also partnering with a local business um, to do um, home 
home decorating cupcakes and um, cookies. So we've kind of added to that, take it home and keep the kids occupied. Um, but it's amazing how yeah. the are actually also coming in just for those things for, for a little bit of relief. <laughs> Yeah, we like those fun things too, <laughs> for painting and, you know, it is a, it is a very therapeutic way to de-stress, I suppose, yeah. is pain yeah. to do the, the ceramics. I mean, I'm not very good, but I've had a couple of lessons um, and actually doing the bowls. <laughs> yeah, I think it's amazing. I think it's just people just, you can get yourself so engrossed in just being a yeah. creative. And I guess that's what I love about the cafe because it brings people together. So most times... Families are painting together. Parents are relaxed, having a coffee because the children are occupied. Um, there's not an iPad or an iPhone in sight. If it's if the iPhone is in yeah. sight, it's really just to tag us or, or to share what they're doing yeah. with, with friends and family. So um, you know, and we do do the evening workshops outside of COVID for um, the adults. Okay. So, the, so we have like paint and sip, like you said, where we have an art, local artist that comes in um, <clears throat> and goes through, guides you through a drawing. Um, and on a canvas, we've got um, Macrami. We, again, partner with the beautiful Belle um, uh, for Bris Macrami, and she comes and does um, some of those Macrami evenings for us. And we try and keep everything very reasonably priced. We've got candle making. Um, the like candle making, making. cool. Yeah, making particularly around Christmas time, pinch clay, so you can come and create you know, your own piece with clay and we'll fire that for you. So we're trying to find evening events as well where people can come in and have a bit of wine, have a laugh and um, <laughs> yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, they're really fun to do because I think um, people are maybe scared to go and do the, like, the painting just on their own. So if yeah. you go, grab a couple of friends and say, like, come and have a wine and just let's have fun and, and go for it, then you know, it's a good way to kind of get out and, and try a new thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and how did um, how did COVID kind of affect you last year? Well, like everyone, where do you start? <laughs> where do I actually start? Because it was a shock. Um, but look, at the time, I think you know we did what everybody did. We tried to eat. we either close you. Our choice was close the doors or find something different. And we at that point weren't online. So you know, for us, we were very fortunate because there were lots of people trying to help, particularly in the marketing space help small businesses and we were lucky enough to have somebody who oh, helped find platform so we took all our products online but that still there was still that scare factor where you know people were not going to come through the door and stay for for a long yeah. time buy the products um particularly around the coffee and the and the shakes and stuff so we decided to pivot and and what we did then was we we made um like home recess boxes for parents so they could just order a recess that was like they were very reasonably priced six dollars i think we did and you got a couple okay. of stuff in there um you know and some lollies in there and some fruit and so parents could just pick it up in the morning because my kids were at home and i know they yeah. eat at house and home. <laughs> <laughs> need entertainment and some snacks yeah well and at that time because of the panic buying you couldn't get bare basics from the grocery store so you couldn't go and get you know things yeah. because they there wasn't anything around so we kind of tried to plug that through convenience for parents and that worked okay. really well um, and then we started doing um online um curry club so my background is indian and um yeah. even though at the time probably didn't appreciate having to learn to cook but it actually we my husband and i decided that if we were going to offer something different we wanted to be very authentic with it and we wanted people to still have a great experience not just your mm. normal curry you know, curry house. So we created Curry Club on a Friday and a Saturday takeaway, which was a three course meal. Um, under sixty I think they were under sixty dollars. Um, and for that you got food that you would not normally get in a restaurant. You got food that you okay. could get family and have dinner with them so um, the good thing about it was people didn't quite know what they were going to get they just knew, knew that there was going to be a variety of starters main dessert um, and meat and non-meat um, dishes so um, that really took off we started with about five customers the first week and by week three we had to close it because I couldn't do, I knew I couldn't do more than 15 orders that was my oh, name wow. <laughs> Um, and at the time, my niece was here from, from England, and so she was able to help with a lot of the prep. But everything I did, because it was how I was taught, was from scratch. So there was no packets, yeah. no pre-made sauces. So it takes time. Um, mm. In fact, did great because once post, post-COVID, we were actually able to do Curry Club um, every fortnight, and we were sold out every time. So, oh, my God. 
it was it was really about pivoting and finding those gaps. Yeah. So scones on a Sunday, people look forward to scones when COVID hit. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a massive demand for can you keep the scones? So um, okay. it was Mother's Day. Mother's Day for us is very busy because uh, people wanted to book. We used to do high tea on Mother's Day. Um, and so for that Mother's Day, we actually did um, uh, grazing boxes that were scones, cakes, sandwiches. You know, you could do a morning or an afternoon tea. So come in, grab your pack, treat your mum. You could have a candle added to it. Um, That's fantastic. At home. And that actually, um, I think, out of everything, gave us this this additional revenue that we never had. And so people were then thinking, yeah. oh, hey, can you do as an afternoon tea? Can you do as a morning tea? Um, and because we do a lot of our own baking, even now through COVID, we're doing our own, um, you know, morning every morning we bake cookies that are filled with um, Biscoff or Mars bars or, you know. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> get a lot of people that just come in in the morning and go can I just grab six and because we only cook you know we only bake a small amount um, daily we're finding that we're having to bake um two yeah. or three times a day doing rocky roads and, and whatever it is so it's been really good for us um and so mm -hmm. this time, even though it is hard um in different ways we're still having to find ways of pivoting um but we're quicker to move online but it's just becoming yeah. because I guess with the delta strain as well there's the, yeah. there's a factors so whilst our doors are open we have again tried to pivot we, as I said we're doing that fresh baking that's bringing people in in the morning to grab and go um, the pottery's all gone online and then we're now <clears throat> excuse me we're now opening after school so we're doing a 3.30 till 5 again we've got skip up and running order through skip um, but the idea is you need to get the kids out they've been in the house all day so whilst yeah. you're walking with the children place your order, grab them a freak shake, grab them a little take-home fondue set or a nice ice cream sundae that's got hot chocolate fudge brownie in there. Um, and kind of grab something and get the kids out, give them something to look forward to. Uh, and that's yeah. really well received by the community, I think, because most cafes will close at 2 o'clock and, of course, the kids are... Oh, like, no. Like, what do we do with them? Yeah, then, no. I... The supermarkets, right, so you don't want to go anywhere, so you'd much rather... Yeah, that's true. Support a local business. And we've been really really grateful because we've had so much support from the community and so um yeah. and they would much rather support small business than go and, and support the big players so we've been really really lucky with that yeah it's good it's a lovely community in Collaroy there and um to be honest there isn't like a huge amount of of places to go and like yeah even a couple of times I've gone like oh no good just go and get a coffee after three and there's like nothing open <laughs> it's uh I, I yeah I had to kind of get used to that uh, moving to Australia myself because <laughs> I was I'm living in the UK before and uh, it's just like you could get a coffee anywhere you know <laughs> after three <laughs> yeah um that's so, so that's fantastic. And you know what? It's a breath of fresh air that you, you've you pivoted, but you also offer, you're quite flexible in offering lots of things and listening to your customers. And I think that's really important to go, okay, well, you the people have actually asked for the scones or they really enjoy the curry nights, so actually keep that going. Because um, a lot of places, I think, um, did the COVID service and then kind of just went, okay, well, that's different. But I think it really... Um, highlights what people really want as well during those yeah. times, you know, and, and people really are struggling at home with their kids. So I'm sure getting out and going and getting a little goodie pack and getting involved in an activity with them is actually a really good thing to do. Yeah, get away from the iPads. <laughs> yeah, it has. I said, we, you know, we've we've tried to keep our ear to the ground with the customers. Um, you know, and sometimes yeah. um, it's not always the best thing to do. Uh, you know, because you've got to think about an additional cost. Uh, yeah. I have to say, I found for us through COVID, listening to the customers and being that bit flexible and, and trying to help them to make their life easier in some way, shape or form. I feel when you, you know, when we come out of COVID, we've always had a great deal of consistent love that's followed us through because yeah. it, it, we've all pulled together through a very difficult time. So, um, so you know, we, we are super, super grateful for both support from the local community, but also, uh, you know, we're very big on supporting local businesses. So, um, you know, we've joined together and partnered with lots of local businesses that are doing it yeah. tough. Just try and, you know, combine our efforts and, and support each other. Yeah. That's so important. That's awesome, Bobby. Um, so if people want to, so your, your website is um, www.thepotterycafe.com, AU yeah. at the end? AU, okay, yeah. Cool. And um, so they can so they can go on and um, book through there, or um, 
order through there and then you said skip as well yeah so all our pottery is available through our online shop so when you go on our website you can click the online button and and you can order all the pottery through there um, and then all the food and our takeaway um baking kits are available through skip so okay. you, or you can phone your order through if um through the phone line which is also on our website or all over our social media and the best thing to do is to follow us on social media because we put all our updates through there we don't always upside, update our website but yeah. social media are sort of first go to in terms of what we're doing and, and what's new what's coming through um, and you know yeah. there's exciting things coming through even during covid with uh, some of our partners so um, yeah keep your eye out your own side yeah, um, and I did see your delicious little treats <laughs> that way you give it the activity where you can fill the donuts or something. Oh my gosh, it just looks yeah. <laughs> delicious. Well, we have all the freak shakes that have got, we've got one that's got the donuts in there, and then a certain okay, yeah. Cookies, um, and every week we experiment with them slightly. So, the there you go. Know, very popular. The Mars bar ones are very popular. And so, if you mm-hmm. imagine Mars bar inside them and then Mars bar on top. And yeah, <laughs> ten seconds in the microwave. Um, if you are eating them later in the day, then they just melt in your mouth, and they're just um, yeah. Uh, we actually can't keep them on the shelf um, long enough for them to actually be there because <laughs> they go so quickly. Um, but I'm not little, surprised. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to have. I guess come and there's a little bit of oh, I wonder what they've got, which is great because uh, then that's getting around to other people going oh, you know, Bob, um, Bobby and the Pottery Cafe are doing these things. Uh, go and have a look. So it's nice to be able to have that little bit of excitement in the community, yeah. for sure. So oh, fantastic. Um, all right, so follow Bobby and the Pottery Cafe on social media. Go to her website and um, check out all the all the pottery that you can order. And um, is there anything that you want to tell your customers before we close off? Well, of course, first of all, I hope everyone stays safe. Um, I hope we can kind of keep covid out of the beaches as um, as much as we can um but most importantly i uh, just like to say a huge thank you for everybody dialing in at 8am um on a on a weekend um and for their support and we hope that if you've got suggestions please feel free to drop us a line we're very open to suggestions and if there's any way we can help even if it's just um you know somebody that's doing it tif- uh, tough at the moment and want a little care package we're more than happy to put something together so please do, um, you know, we're not overly, overtly um, advertising that, but we certainly have been um, here to support people in the community. So if you want to do somebody and pay something forward, then please do um, drop us a line and we'd be happy to do that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, thanks, Bobby. It's been lovely talking to you. I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe. And, um, yeah, uh, check out uh, Bobby in this episode on uh, YouTube. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye.